Hi and welcome uh, to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the O2 or oxygen sensor, uh, the downstream one, or the post catalytic converter O2 sensor on a W220 S500. Uh, but this procedure applies equally to uh, S430, well, any M112, M113 engine. Um, v8 or v6 um, and in this specific case uh, the heat exchanger was bad so i was getting a code of p0141 uh, but you could be getting any of the p0136 to p0141 or p0156 to p0161 and i'll put these in the description uh, chances are pretty good. I mean, you can run some tests, but chances are pretty good. I mean, these cars could be anywhere from 17, 18 years to 23 years old as of this recording, which is about June of 2023. Uh, and if the O2 sensor has not been replaced and you get this code, chances are pretty good that you can replace it and it will fix it. Uh, you'll um, typically get a, an engine code and then... Um, uh, the one I purchased, so these are the two O2 sensors downstream post catalytic. Um, the ones that are upstream, you get two from the engine bay. Uh, you would have to remove the under engine cover and then with a 22 millimeter wrench and a hammer, uh, you can um, get it loose. Uh, an O2 socket, usually there are these uh, 22 millimeter O2 sockets that would be kind of hard to get to this. Um, uh, there's just not enough room. So, uh, And to torque it, um, you could get a, coral, a 22 millimeter uh, coral wrench, but um, I'm torquing it by hand and I'll show you in a, in a second. Uh, you'll have to remove the electrical uh, connector. Uh, just by uh, uh, pulling it out and um, and then turning it uh, left and you'll have to uh, kind of play with the cable a couple of times as you're turning it to uh, it will come in the way of um, turning the sensor and so this this wasn't changed for 23 years um, uh, this is by the way bank one so bank one is um, uh, on, on these v6 and v8 and 112 and 113 pretty much most mercedes uh, cars um, bank one is where uh, cylinder one is uh, so in this case it would be for the left uh, steering wheel cars uh, it would be the passenger side uh, uh, bank two would be the driver side and so uh, you'll get a code of uh, sensor one or sensor two if a sensor one is upstream meaning before catalytic converter or in the engine bay and sensor two would be post catalytic converter um, or uh, downstream so I'm replacing the passenger side downstream post cat O2 sensor and so uh, as you can see here I'm just turning it a couple turns until I see that it doesn't and I'm not applying too much force and that should be sufficient but if you have a crow wrench then um, the torque value is 55 um, Newton meters and you can, um, and you'll have to apply some copper grease with, uh, under threads. Uh, just lightly apply some copper grease. Uh, chances are you won't be replacing this again uh, before the car um, dies. Uh, because if it lasted uh, 23 years in this case, um, it should last quite a while. Uh, but uh, if you should you have to remove it again, it just because of you know all the high temperatures um, at the exhaust, uh, 
apply some copper grease so that you can remove it again in the future if you needed to for whatever reason not just to replace the o2 sensor but you know if, if you have to if you have to replace the catalytic converter for example um, but um, anyway so the job is quite simple I'm doing this um, on a lift but um, you can raise the car the, the front of the car on jack stands and chuck the uh, the rear wheels and then um, it's pretty much uh, the rest of it just as you see in this video I hope you enjoy this video and find it useful and talk to you soon bye bye